नमस्कार आधुनिक भारतीय समाज के हर नर और नारी को केवल साक्षर ही नहीं शिक्षित भी होना चाहिए शिक्षा निसंदेह एक मौलिक अधिकार है और आज के युग में इसकी अहमियत और भी ज़्यादा बढ़ जाती है आर लर्निंग ऑफकोर्स बिगिन्स मच अर्लियर बिफोर वी स्टेप इन टू द फॉर्मल एकेडेमिक इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ एजुकेशन एज चिल्ड्रन वी ऑब्जर्व एंड इम्बाइब सो मच फ्रॉम आर पेरेंट्स एल्डर्स आर एक्सटेंडेड जॉइंट फैमिली मेम्बर्स फ्रेंड्स एंड क्लोज नेबर्स दीज अलॉन्ग विद द सर्कमस्टांसिस वी ग्रो अप विथ सबकॉन्शियसली बिल्ड्स आर वैल्यू सिस्टम एंड शेप्स आर पर्सनैलिटी इन टूडेज competitive time and age all these aspects surely helps differentiate ourselves speaking about competition few years back i had the honor to participate in one raka ko hue tab ek varsh bhi nahi hua tha जब अचानक एक दिन ऑफिस से कौशिक ने मुझे कॉल किया किसी विज्ञापन में उसने मिसेस चेन्नई प्रतियोगिता के बारे में पढ़ा था पहले तो मैं कुछ समझ ही नहीं पाई फिर घर लौटकर उसने प्रतियोगिता के बारीकियों के बारे में बताया कि किस तरह विवाहित महिलाओं को अलग अलग गुणों पर परखा जाएगा द इवेंट would go on for about a month with a selection procedure or rather an elimination round every week it included basic talent display quiz and treasure hunt designing cooking beauty and finally culminating into a grand finale needless to say at that juncture with a 10 month old child I was just not ready for a grilling schedule. I must confess, I lacked confidence too. It took Kaushik several rounds of convincing and cajoling me to reluctantly accept and agree to it. More than me, it was Kaushik who had to do the balancing act between office babysitting and even maintaining me fortunately with some basic preparations i passed the prelims round kareeb 200 se adhik pratibhagiyon mein se mera chayan antim ke 12 mahilaon mein ho gaya tha do all 12 finalists were thoroughly trained for the grand finale performing in front of a packed audience in a grand auditorium on mount road was indeed a big deal i had summoned up all my courage and soaked in koshik's every word of encouragement meri himmat badhane ke liye jamshedpur se sukhdev aur mumbai se mere pitaji bhi aane wale the what i had not factored in perhaps that i was the only participant who was not a natural tamil speaker to my surprise i was soon amidst the final six and ready to go for the question answer round durvagyavash mujhe prashn शुद्ध तमिल में पूछा गया आई वॉज लेफ्ट विथ नो अदर ऑप्शन बट टू अपोलोजाइज एंड सीक अ ट्रांसलेशन वंस प्रिंटेड इन इंग्लिश द क्वेश्चन वॉज वॉट अकॉर्डिंग टू यू इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट एजुकेशन और अपब्रिंगिंग आई have been through some respectable educational institutions and have by then worked with 
and represented organizations of international repute. Indeed, my academic degrees spoke for me and I would remain an alumni of NIFT Kolkata or DAV Bhuvaneshwar. However, in a large way, I am what I am because of my family. My values, the cultures and traditions of India and Odisha that I represented. A sudden flurry of thoughts raced through my mind. I had picked up so many of these values from numerous people I had met and interacted with. Growing up in Bhuvaneshwar, I had seen the open-heartedness of my father genuinely welcoming so many of my cousins to stay with us, even when at times we were stretched for resources. Those childhood bondings, learning to share everything we owned were precious for me. The inspiring presence of my paternal grandfather who was such a source of strength in spite of all the odds he faced. I had learned from him how to stay calm and enjoy the little things of life and not get bogged down by the problems one faced. The trust and warmth exuded by Tapunani, my sister-in-law, from a very first interaction. I have learned from her how to value relationships. As a young bride, I will never forget how Chandu Jetha, Kaushik's uncle, offered his chair to me, addressing me as Mao. And he still does that year after year every time I go to seek his blessings. I had witnessed firsthand how warmly Sukhdev's mother greeted my in-laws so traditionally by offering a container of water to clean their hands and feet as that had been the prevalent village custom. Indeed, all these collective values reflect on our personality. And I can sum this up as upbringing. This to me was precious and one which would not be confined to a degree. It was not an academic qualification. One did not need to brandish a certificate to prove these credentials. And yet they are so important and so much a part of us. With my limited knowledge and experience, I chose upbringing over education as the answer. Many years down the line, if asked again, I would perhaps still stick to that answer. For that to me was what I was. That to me was being you.